Okay, so last episode we unfortunately lost to Brawly. This episode I off screen trained Beedrill and Marshtomp both to level 18. Ninkata won't be part of the team, so Ninkata is going to stay level 7. And now we are going to try to fight Brawly again. Hopefully with better results this time. As we know from the last battle, he sends out Machop first. And we're going to use Beedrill to try to poison Sting. And hopefully we can get some poison on him. If he doesn't use Bulk Up, we should be fine. He's only doing 4 damage with Low Kick. Not nearly enough to, to make an effect on Beedrill. And there's the bulk up. We're going to speed up a bit. Oh, we got a critical hit that brought him down to very low health. Now he's poisoned. Hopefully Fury Attack can take him out. Yes. I was going to get potions, but I realized there's no... Poke Pokemart in... Duford Town. So... Oh, that's... Wonderful. So I didn't get any potions or anything like that. We're down to his last Pokemon, Makuhita. Hopefully Marshtomp will be enough to take him out. Mudshot seems to do enough. He's most likely going to use another potion or super potion, so... or maybe not. He has a citrus berry, which gives most of his health back. And I use poison sting, which... well... looks like Minkata's gonna get some experience. I meant to use Fury Attack, but at least I got the victory. We received the Knuckle Badge. The Knuckle Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30. Obey, we won't be using that. We can also use Flash, and we get TM08, which contains Bulk Up. As of right now, I won't be using bulk up on any of my team members. And also the gym has lit up completely, not that it's of any use to us now. So we're going to head to the Pokemon Center, heal up our fainted party members. Luckily, I'm just casually playing through and not doing a Nuzlocke run or I would have lost in the last episode. I'll leave Beedrill up front. But now we will teach Ninkata Flash. So right now Ninkata's a good HM Slave. I was going to catch a Zigzagoon, but I caught and I ran into Ninkata first. It was easier, and he did learn Flash, which Zigzagoon wouldn't have been able to learn. So Granite Cave. We're going to speed through some Pokemon battles. If 
Volcanic Cave is where we do find Stephen. Why he's in a cave randomly, I have no idea. But we're going to go deliver his letter to him. Now normally if I was playing this, I would try to make my way through without Flash. And I would do it before battling the gym. But for the sake of the Let's Play, we're going to use Flash and get through this much quicker. Got a Pokeball. Still hoping some Megas get announced, some new ones. So maybe I can fill out my team a little bit better. I really would like an electric type Pokemon. I wanted to use Pokemon that got Megas in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but if we don't get any new ones announced, I'm thinking of using Manectric. Because it at least still fits the Mega theme, being that it got a Mega in X and Y. And I feel like an electric type Pokemon will be very useful. When I trained in this cave, I was not running into very many Zubats. And now all of a sudden that I'm recording. We had Zubats everywhere. Okay, let's keep on going through. There's an item in this rock. An Everstone. Everstone will not be useful to us. Everstone keeps Pokemon from evolving or while breeding allows it to pass on its nature which is the real use of an Everstone. I'm going to go back and see if there's any items down this way. Nope. And I get a wild Pokemon for my trouble. Let's just kill this Zubat Beedrill. Okay, let's just... run from the battle. Mostly I was running into Makuhitas as I was training off-screen to get to level 18. Okay. We're getting through. Beedrill's getting closer to 19, which will be very helpful. He gets Twin Needle as his next attack at level 20. I checked Beedrill's move pool, and the moves he learns by level up are not very good. Hopefully I can get some good TMs for him. He does learn a few good TMs that will I'll, that will extend his move pool. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me? Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see, I'll give you this TM. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. We get TM twenty TM forty seven stealing. We most likely will not be using that, even if any of our team members can learn it. And he registers himself in our Pokenav. And he hurries out of the cave. More 
wild makuhitas. They seem to be more common in this first floor. Let's make our way out of this cave though. And we will head on to the next town, Slateport City. Walking does reduce the probability of running into wild Pokemon. I didn't check over here to see if there's any items. No, just area where you can surf. We'll heal real quick. I'll put Marshmop up in front and we'll head off. So the last Mega Pokemon to be oh, revealed were Mega Steelix and Mega Glalie. I think I'm going to catch an Electrike when I get the chance. Just in case we don't get any new ones announced anytime soon. I usually don't like using only two Pokemon so early in the game. I tend to use I tend to try to get the bulk of my team as quickly as possible. I'm one that likes to train. And we register a little boy in our Pokenav. Oh! She was hiding. Wingle and Meryl. Take Wingle out completely. Wingle's down. Hopefully, Marshall doesn't hurt himself in confusion, but he does. And okay, there we go. Oh, an item. And some hidden drainers. with a lot more Pokemon. Fuzzy Roll's a newer one that we haven't seen yet. The only Pokemon that actually, I believe, loses its type upon evolving Fuzzy Roll's normal type and becomes Meryl, who's, well, in this game is pure water in the 6th gen X and Y in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire becomes water in Fairy. And we register another, well, a little girl in our Pokemon have this time. Good thing we're only 10. And he picks up litter, that's nice. Okay, so there's a, show, a soda shop over here. Well, we're gonna head straight to Slateport City. Somebody's calling me on Poconav. Roxanne. She gets registered in our Poconav because we didn't have the Poconav when we first faced her. And oh, there's plenty of Team Aqua Grunts hanging out in front of a museum. We can check that out, see what's going on. Girl 
pink hair. Hey there, quit pushing. This is the line, can't you see? Okay, well, that's not where we need to go. We need to go to the shipyard. And, uh, is it him? Um, if this goes here and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? And what about that doohickey? Alright, oh, I can't make heads or tails of this. Uh, hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. Oh, that there? Are they Devon goods? Uh -huh. This won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. Can I get you to find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? And where do you think Captain Stern might be? Well, maybe in here? Maybe. Wondering. Route 110. Well, I'm gonna hold off on that and I'm gonna go to the museum. Oddly enough, we have to pay $50 just to get into this museum. Hey! What are you doing here? Me, I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped before, remember? Back in Rust Earth Tunnel. Here, take this. You have to forgive me. Obtain TM-46. TM-46 is thief. Not the best move. Hope I never see you again. And I don't think any of these guys want to battle. Nope. We go up. And this is Captain Stern. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Oh, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare for our expedition now. And we get some Team Aqua members. We'll take those parts. Cap who, who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your yap and fork them over. Team Aqua Grant would like to battle Carvana, water dark type Pokemon. Its evolution Charpedo does get a mega evolution as well, but since we have Swampert, there's no need for another water type. And now Beedrill's going to learn Twin Needle. We'll get rid of Harden. Ah, kid beat me? What a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. Oh, sniveling wimp. Let me take care of this. And since I can't switch, I'll continue to use Beedrill for now. And he's going to have a Carvana. Good mud shot should be able to take him out. Yes. And Marshomp's level 20. Marshomp's trying to learn Foresight, but Foresight's a terrible move. So we will not learn Foresight. Now what? If we don't get the parts, we're in for it. Arr, I didn't count on being meddled by, with, by some meddling kid. Is this Scooby-Doo? I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts. And you simps are held up by a mere child. We are Team Aqua, and we love the sea. And I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. Pokemon, people, all life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you. Don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will cost you dearly. And don't you forget it. You're... Uh, okay, you're Brendan. Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Oh yes, I almost forgot that you even brought the parts from Devon. When we gave Captain Stern the Devon goods. Whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around and check out our facilities, though. And he heals us, I think. Yes. Okay, but with that, we're going to end it here. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you would like to leave a comment, you may, and 
subscribe if you would like to see more videos. I will definitely keep putting these out. Bye.